So the second method that we looked at for solving quadratic equations was the method of completing the square. Um, I'm going to remind you of the uh, rectangular areas um, interpretation of this uh, method. So the whole idea is that, again, this is the bit that we are going to be completing the square on. So I'm going to drag this 5 over to this side. So I'm going to write this as x squared plus 4x equals 5. And I'm going to draw this in a, a graphical way. So I'm going to draw this little x squared here, right, which is a square of dimensions x and x. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle right, that has an area of 4x and it has dimensions x and 4. And then over here, I'll draw a little square that has an area of 5. So if we look at what this whole method of completing squares was, we, we remember the, the rule was we looked at this um, term here that, had a, that involved the x and we looked at its coefficient and we took that coefficient and we halved it and then we squared it. And that's what we're going to do over here. So graphically, what we're going to do is split this thing up into two. So we're going to have our x squared still there, so it's still an x by x box. And then I'm going to split this 4x rectangle up into two parts by halving it. So this is going to look like x by 2 and another one as well, x by 2 for an area of 2x. Okay, again over the right hand side I still have this square of, of area 5. Now I'm going to redraw this situation, so I'm going to uh, move those two red rectangles either side of the x squared box here so we'll still have this x squared uh, guy here then I'm going to move one of the rectangles below it uh, so it has an area of 2x and the other one I'm going to move over here All right. which brings us to the point of the step completing the square, hence the name of this method. So if you look at this situation here, it sort of is looking like a square, but it's missing this section in here. All right, so to complete that square, notice that that thing is, that little dotted green one has dimensions of five by five, so it has an area of 25. Um, sorry, I've used the wrong numbers, 2 and 2 for an area of 4. Alright, um, so what we need to do is, of course, if we're going to add that square to this side, right, it's not there, we're adding it there, we need to do the same thing over this side. Okay, so we've got this situation now. Now, if you look at this square here, notice that it has dimensions x plus 2 by x plus 2. So in terms of writing this thing as an area, we could write it as x plus 2 all squared. That's just simply taking the side times the side. And over here, we've got 5 and 4. We can add them together to give us 9. Now to solve this equation, we need to reverse um, the square operation here. We do that by taking a square root of both sides. On the right hand side, this leaves us with x plus 2. Sorry, on the left hand side that leaves us with x plus 2 and on the right we end up with plus or minus 3. Remembering of course that 3 times 3 is equal to 9 but also negative 3 by itself is also equal to positive 9. So we'll always get this, this um, plus or minus case when we're taking square roots. Then we subtract the 2 from both sides and we're left with x is equal to uh, minus 2 plus or minus 3 which is going to be two different solutions. So one of them is going to be minus 2 plus 3. Right, so negative 2 plus 3, which gives us 1. The other one is going to be minus 2 minus 3, which gives us minus 5. Okay, so that's our, our solution by the completing the squares method. In a non-graphical way, again, I'll, I'll start with the original equation, which was x squared plus 4x minus 5 is 0. We add the 5 to both sides. We end up with uh, x squared plus 4x equals 5. We look to the coefficient of x and we halve it and square it. Half of 4 is 2. The square of that is 4. We had to add that to both sides.
right? That's kind of doing what we did up here with the green, the green squares. All right, now we can factorize this side. So we're looking for two numbers at times to give four that add to give four. All right, happens to be two and two. So this thing turns into x plus two all squared. Notice that number in here was also the dimension of this square up here. Over here we end up with nine. Now if we square root both sides, we end up with x plus two is equal to plus or minus three. And then again, we're just back up here, which leads us with solutions of one and minus five.